having landed back from Wickenby, we pushed all of the aircraft away into three different hangars um, and in sorting this one out, collecting my stuff from the back, um, I put a little bit too much pressure on this right hand door which I don't know whether you can see I'd already had a small crack to there which I drilled but by putting pressure on unfortunately I've now cracked it from there all the way through to there so it's going to need a repair um, it will probably need to be replaced the big problem is actually tracking them down but uh, I have got somebody who has said that they will have a look at it put a temporary repair in and uh, that's what we're going to do so we're going to take the door off now and run it to them and see what they can do but uh, one of those things let's see how easy it is to get the door off mm, doesn't look too complicated there's a pin there um, which is held in place with a split pin so I just go and pair, get a pair of long nose pliers and uh, we should have that sorted in no time at all. Right, so I've taken the split pin out and I'm now just gently taking that up. I don't know whether I've got everything here I need. I need to just take this pin out. I did think there were two pins, I thought there were, there's a pin there which was split pinned and I thought there was another but actually having looked at it very closely what you actually got here is you've just got a stud. Now in theory that is all I need to do and I ought to be able to just lift this up, put the pin at the bottom top has come off, the bottom doesn't want to at the moment, like so many of these things, it's all down to little trickiness bits. There we are, so that's all there is to taking the door off, just make sure I don't drop it through the wing. Leaning it here against the fuselage and against the dark coloured floor you can see where the original crack was and you can see that there is quite an extensive split which I'm going to leave exactly as it is because we're going to take it as I said earlier to Project Plastics in Colchester and uh, see if they can work their magic on it but as I thought the door came off reasonably easy in fact it only held in place with one pin which was split pinned the other was just a sort of drop-in bolt. Well, we went into Colchester to the place where I said that they were going to be working on this canopy door. Um, Project Plastics did a remarkable job. I don't know whether you can see that now, but the crack was, as I said before, over 30 centimetres long. The door itself was, um, because of the complex curve, wasn't actually just um, sticking with the plastic weld. So what they did is, you can see, they've put a reinforcing piece underneath. So it will certainly do the job properly if I step down. You'll see that it's across the top of the canopy and I'll go around the other side and see what it looks like from inside. Well, it is still marked but I'm not going to get away with that. What I do know is I've now got a secure fix which means that there we are. 
I've now got a canopy door, which at least I can use. So thank you very much to Project Plastics for their time, their effort. It is very much appreciated and does mean I can get back in the air. Thank you.